Hey kids, you're about to listen to a comedy podcast. That means that none of this is medical advice. If you need medical advice or medical care, please contact your doctor. Welcome to a very special episode of the Jock Doc Podcast featuring Dr. London Smith. In a departure from their usual format, it looks like the Jock Doc Podcast is going on a road trip today. We join our heroes, the host and the producer of the Jock Doc Podcast, as both of them finish loading up the company car for their road trip. DJ Dylan has his disc spinning in the trunk of what appears to be a 1961 Amphicar that has been modified to extend three extra car lengths, in addition to going into the water. Dr. London Smith.com, the host, he appears conflicted about whether to bring a few of his last items. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've got the socks. I, I always forget socks, so I brought... Sure, a, a, but I mean, are we not concerned about weight at this point? Y- are you saying don't bring the harpoon? No, I'm saying the socks. Okay, yeah, um, well... The sheer volume of socks is, is sort of the issue here, Dr. London. Because well, sh- I mean, when you say I'm going to bring extra socks, how, in weight, what are you talking about? I, I just have the count. So, I, like, I guess each one weighs what, like... See, I, I, I'm, I'm used to metric. No, be honest about how okay. heavy your socks are, Doctor London. This is the issue. Okay. Well, I. You have an. You have issues standing up straight. Yeah. And not sort of just like constantly just falling over From, when you're trying to stand still. Yeah. So your solution is extremely heavy socks. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's. Yeah, I, I, I have been embedding metal into them. Uh, and you know, let any, any metallic products I can find to weigh them down. Yeah. Um, so, well, and the brand is called Heavy Boys. Yeah, like the it, it is built into the sock. Yeah, you've made already heavy socks heavier. Well, because I was such a big fan of one specific part of steel-toed boots, and I thought, what if we expanded oh, this to wow. the socks, got rid of yeah. the boots? Uh, so, so yeah, so I guess in weight, I guess six tons maybe, but like, it's pretty heavily focused into the center of the the car. So it doesn't wobble. Well, you're the science man, so I guess if that makes sense to you, then that makes sense to me. Okay. Yeah. So um anyway, uh we've got that set up. Um yeah, okay, I guess I guess we're ready to go. Do you have your stuff packed in? Uh yeah, I think I put everything, but do we need to put the wheels on the car? I feel like we should probably do that before we do anything else. Is that our job? I don't know whose job that is. This is okay. why yeah, this is sort this of why is... I was going to bring this up before we sort of start the car. Delegating. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. I, all I have wheel-wise is that there are two big wheels of cheese inside. Okay. And I was ready to eat those when we got back as a celebration. But I guess we, could, I guess we can break them open now. Um, I mean, it, it's a hard cheese, I'm assuming, right? Uh, not, not the hardest. It's a uh, brie. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I think if you, again, you're the science guy, so I think if you can, if you think that can maintain this road trip, yeah, I, uh, I, I think we'll do okay. I'm, it's a good idea to record this. I'm glad we're recording this right now. Yeah, no, I, I think so too. It's um, just to document, a lot of people don't remember. They're like, oh, spring break, that was so awesome. Don't yeah. remember what happened, but it was good, right? And that's, that's yeah. all they have. Especially like, Oh, spring break, and I'm in my 30s. You know what I mean? Like, oh, those are the craziest spring breaks. Yeah. Oh, the, I, I, I was going to say, I know, but we're about to find out, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I know they're going to be crazy. So, so anyway, um, let me... Uh, Do we want to document where we're going, Dr. London? Yeah, um, uh, I think, and I'm not sure about this, but the beach? Is that... Honestly, so we... Yes, we are, we are on... I mean, you say the beach, but we are looking for the old beach. The oldest beach, yes. The be- Oh, are we on the same page about this? I was under the impression we were looking for the M. Night Shyamalan beach that makes you grow old very quickly. Okay. Well, I assumed that it was the oldest because it ages stuff so much. Oh, so it would be perpetually aging itself older and older. That's okay, yeah, you're right. 
we're gonna go sort of just beach to beach and we're just gonna sort of figure out which one is the one we're looking for yeah and it's i don't remember the i didn't see the movie i had the uh, the audio commentary i haven't seen the movie either yeah yeah i just read the synopsis so i won't know to recognize it but I, oh i didn't do that either but i saw commercials or i saw a poster i think yeah okay so well oh, oh no a co-worker described a poster to me yes that's what i remember it from okay there's dj dylan did you in the house that's right. That's right. It's time for me to describe to you a movie poster from the man himself, M. Night. Shyamalan, I'll make this fast like Ramadan. It looks like a beach with a weird phenomenon. A lady sitting calmly in the sand. I can't help but notice when I look at her hands and feet that one side is young, the other is old here. Seems like there might be a story to be told here. Ice on her ankle, ice on her wrist. It's M. Night, so you know there's gonna be a twist somewhere. Back to the lady in her sunwear why her right side is aging quickly it's unclear waves washing up on shore by her feet i gotta say this is a really weird beach a new trip from m night Shyamalan. it's only a matter of time old in theaters july 23rd 2021 Well, our heroes, our heroes began packing up the car and then finished it and also attached the wheels to the car. And wow, they were about ready to get on their way. Okay, so um, I guess we'll... It's nice that we've, that uh, DJ Dylan installed this sort of like auto driving system in the car so we don't even have to actually do yeah. anything. Yeah, because I, I mean, I'm reflexively wanting to grab the wheel every time because this it isn't a good car. Yeah. Like the the, the system is no. terrible. I'm And even even Teslas and stuff still let you have a steering wheel, but as far yeah. as I can tell there is no wheel no, it's, in this it's car a lot whatsoever. of jerking around and... except for the the wheels of cheese that are going to be sort of taking us to our destination. Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, let's uh okay, I guess car go. S uh, it's S car. Uh S car yeah. go. Okay. All right, we're going. Okay, okay. Um, you mind if? I mean, this is gonna be. I mean, it says on the GPS this is gonna be seven thousand hours. Yeah, it's every beach. I mean, it's every beach. So we we really we need to think of some some games or something to do something to pass the time if we're gonna survive this. Um, well, I I know when I was younger we would play that slug bug. Are you familiar with that game? Uh, is that the game where you end up eating like as many slugs as possible? Until you try to become a bug? Or is that the game where you try to melt as many slugs as possible via salt? Okay, for my experience, it was more of a car game. Like, I don't know how many snails you brought in the car. For me, it was the uh, when you see a Volkswagen Beetle, you would say mm-hmm. slug bug and then the, na- the color of the car, and then you punch someone. Oh, okay. So it's like a violence, like a fighting game. Well, no, it's like it's it's about being able to recognize a car before the other person, like recognize colors. That's it was a color training game. Oh, wow. So it's sort of like it's taking sort of a fun activity from your childhood, recognizing colors and then adding violence to it. I like that. Yeah, because when we were little, we just stated the color and that was it. <laughs> Is it like that, Doctor London? Wow, the sound of that slap. <laughs> okay, okay. Fine. You saw. You didn't even say the color of the Volkswagen Beetle. Okay. Well, um, if you don't mind, like, since we are trying to pass the time, and apparently you aren't a fan of this game, uh, do you want to just listen to um that comedy album I recorded? No. Oh my god. Yeah. No. no. Absolutely no, come on. not. It was really good. So I was trying to stand up for my first time, and you at the time when we were there, you were acting very supportive, and now I'm questioning that honestly. I like I. I, how did you how do you interpret my actions as supportive? I, I kind of want to hear this. Well, you showed up. Okay. Like the words that you said, I don't remember being yeah particular. Like don't but, do this. This is sort of social suicide. And then, and then you showed up though, which and that like I, no, I I left. I haven't heard what you're about to play. Okay, I. Okay, well, um, I guess now you'll show your support. 
we're hearing it now. It just there is no support from any angle that I could possibly think of. I support the fact that you have words that can come out of your mouth. Like that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I think it's impressive that you can talk, I guess. But that's sort of where yeah. You've never said that before. Wow. Thank you. That's it's actually a lot more than what I had built up in my head. Okay. Um, but I mean, it look, you're reaching for the CD player, so it looks like you're, yeah. you're just going to be playing it anyway. Um, S car, play play the thing the the my do, when I did the thing. And give it up for your next comic. He's a doctor, and he's funny, but he's not like Ken Jong. Please welcome Doctor London Smith. Dot com. Hey. Okay. How's how's every <coughs> is this thing on? Okay. Boo. Uh, how's, how's everybody? Okay. Uh, I, Guess, guess I know how you're doing tonight. Um, okay, so what's up, Doogie? Yeah, ah, Doogie. Okay, Doogie. Yes, that that was a, a doctor show. I didn't Let's see your jokes already. Okay, it jokes. We're jokes. All right, okay. Wow, what a what a great audience. Um, so so as as he said, I'm I'm actually I'm a doctor. Um, I was Boo. looking up for okay, lo- looking up for people's help. Uh, for health, for health. Okay, um, so don't choke, and that's that's advice for whenever you're eating and <laughs> in public speaking. <laughs> um, okay, so okay, so so I've been I've been trying to to spice up my resume lately. Um, I was asked to be on a medical board, so that was that was the really death exciting. panel. Uh, okay. Uh, no, it's, so it was, it was a different, it was a different medical board, but it was Fauci long. Fauci boo, Fauci boo. Okay. Boo. Okay. All right, okay. Well, it's, they told me I have an hour to do this setup, so I, I do have to keep going. I, I feel like I'm getting so, some different vibes from a few people in the crowd here, but um, okay. So I like vaccines. Boo! Shut up. <laughs> okay, so, so. Uh, so as I was saying, I, I, I'm on that medical board, and that's a nice thing, right? In, but the unique skills section doesn't have much. So I remembered that I actually spent a lot of time working on a skill that I don't hear mentioned very much. I no, you didn't. Oh, okay. So I so, so I'm toilet trained. That's the that's the that's the joke there. So I, I don't always I don't always make it to the. But but like I have the training for toilet. Um, yes, you always make it. Okay. Okay. So so anyway, as I said, I'm a doctor. Um, so I do have some training from that, in addition to the the aforementioned toilet training. Um, so so in fact, this is really good. So one time when I was in medical school, we ran across a very unusual case of juvenile polyposis syndrome. So so I don't. Woo. Okay. So, okay. So, um, so, so you may think that you know what juvenile polyposis syndrome is, and you know. I what. had it. <laughs> yeah, he had it. Okay. Do, so, do you, do you like, do you really know it or not? Because. Yes, I had multiple non-cancerous growths. Okay. So I guess. It was before age twenty, so it's juvenile, doctor. Okay, well, and that that does get to okay one of these punchlines. Um, okay, so uh, okay, well, I guess j- so. We have one in the audience, and I'm really excited for this one. Is there anyone else who who like either has juvenile polyposis syndrome or like like I guess understands the nuances of it? Because this is pretty pretty critical to uh, to this. It's, yeah, a guy did a set about it last week. Yeah, <laughs> Rogan came through with it. Okay, so, so, so I'll just not real. In, I'll fill you in real quick about about it. So, juvenile polyposis syndrome is an autosomal dominant condition characterized by predisposition to uh, hamartomatous polyps in the gastrointestinal tract. Yeah, that, my buddy in the audience there, he yeah. he knows. So. Okay. All right. Um. So the term juvenile, Ooh. and this is kind of a really so, so it, it refers to the type of polyp rather than to the age of onset of the polyps. Where are the and, jokes? Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm realizing that was that was the punchline, what I just said. It's just Boo. I didn't. I had to send up properly. Boo, terrible delivery. 
Okay, so um, so so most of the juvenile polyps are benign. Uh, however, malignant transformation can occur, and that's that's why patients with juvenile polyposis syndrome will will have a greater likelihood of developing colon cancer. And this is this is just background once again. I like getting us ready for the ju so um so so in patients with juvenile polyposis syndrome, screening of both upper and lower gastrointestinal tract begins at age 12, which <sighs> this makes a lot more sense. Uh, so, so and meaning that they will receive both endoscopy and colonoscopy. Is okay, this I'm a TED Talk or a stand-up show? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm. So I'm. I'm put, my notes. put her on stage. <laughs> yeah. So I'm. I am checking my notes here, and I'm realizing that the next 40 minutes or so of this set is very. You know, it really heavily assumes that there's an understanding, just generalized, of, you know, of none of the nuances of juvenile polyposis syndrome and. You know the kind of conversations that you'll have with genetic counseling. So I'm um, okay. So I'm guessing. So so we we can just call it here, I guess. Um, so th thanks for coming out, everyone. Why um, not discuss the onset in infancy that's characterized by a failure to thrive? Yeah. Thank thank you for that. Um, and that was like I want to say like a 30 minute mark or something. I was I was really gonna go into that, but once again, it's. It's a thing that... What if the child develops protein-losing enteropathy, dude? You didn't even talk about that. Yeah, no, and that can really affect a lot within the... Okay, and that, that, that will have significant impact on... Okay, but, um... So, so you guys have been such a great audience tonight. Wow, thank you. You guys, you're the Boo. best. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, wait, we were great. Yeah, woo, <laughs> us! So, th thanks, thanks for coming out. I'll... I don't think I'll be here next I okay. A painful silence fills the air after Dr. Lennon's failed attempt at stamp comedy settles into the minds of our heroes. That is exactly what I had expected. Okay. So so you loved it. Great. Um yeah, I love so it as I, much as the audience seemed to. I guess I could say it that way. You had to do it at the like trucker convoy. Yeah. Well, they. So the thing is, I knew. I don't know. Convoy always shouts to me. That's a crowd. Uh, you, yeah. I mean, you, you sure. can't always count on a lot of people showing up to your comedy stuff. So if you just go to where a convoy is already happening. You know? I still think you just should have just gone to an open mic, just a normal open mic, instead of setting up a stage. You set up like a whole comedy show. Yeah. At the trucker con. A All right. Bed. Whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, you It was very brave of you. I will say that. It was, but it was awful. Do not ever do that again. The, uh, th thank you. So, um. Anyway, uh. So, so, uh, we're, so as we look for this beach, what I'm wondering is, um. How many hitchhikers are we supposed to pick up to meet our quota for taxes this year? Well, I've already picked up two last week. Okay, so that's... And then two every other week okay. of, of my entire life. Okay. So I think two this week. Okay. So um, hopefully we'll find, we'll find some. Um, okay, good. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, when you're driving this long, like, the, what, I mean, the GPS has now gone up to 75,000 hours. Yeah, it's it's only increasing as it's it, only increasing as it finds more beaches around the world, which is really frustrating. But I mean, yeah, we're definitely going to come across at least a couple interesting people, I would say, Doctor London. I I have a hunch. Wait, I'm sorry. What do you, what do you mean? Like, I mean the the freakiest something? hitchhiker that we come across. We're definitely going to pick him up. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. Um, yeah. Just normal road trip stuff. Just you, you say but it I as think, if you know already. I think we might come across some interesting characters, Dr. London. The secret was, Cameron didn't just think it, he knew it. That's right. Okay. I, I, I know that we will come across probably some sort of wacky character, given, just, just given statistics. It okay, seems shut up. There's someone on the road. Will, oh, here's a, here's a crazy looking guy. How does he crazy look? Okay, pull over. Car stop. S car stop. Stop. S car stop. S car stop. Let me stop. in, gentlemen. Gentlemen, let me in. Let me in, gentlemen. 
All right. Oh. And then a car op car open. S car. Oh no, it's opening the hood. Uh, okay. Thank you. My name is Gervis Del Vecchio. I'm a champion hitchhiker. Do you want to climb in the window there? I don't think we're gonna get the door open. Very so well. Just go ahead in. I'm there not above go. crawling through windows. Thank you. You know, not enough of our car get my guests shopping cart in here. Feel that way. <clears throat> okay. Um. Now, yeah, what did what, you? What were you just saying? You were saying you were a champion. My name is Gervis Del Vecchio. I'm a champion hitchhiker, a longtime tramp professional, called by some. Okay. Oh uh, wow. I, I didn't know that we were in the uh, the presence of a like a pro. Yes, I'm in the training for the summer hitchhike season. Okay, so I, I, to to become a professional, or I guess a champion. You said you were a champion. Yes. What is there? Are there leagues for that? What? Um. How how There's does only one... one league, my friend? It's called life, and old Gervis is living on top. Oh wow. Okay, Th- but. Like, were you awarded Mind if this? I smoke in here? Uh, uh, yeah. Can I ask what? Tobacco. Oh, yeah, okay. for sure. So we have Out the- Out of my uh, corn cob pipe here. Just let me hold, give me yeah. one. Yeah. So Escar oh, wow. has this chimney it's for so each long. seat. It's so long. It's one of the long yeah. Gandalf pipes. Fantastic. Yes, yeah. indeed it so is. Pull that chimney down. Good. Oh, wow. Uh, and he's blowing smoke out in the shape of a dragon. And yep. S- that's me. I was also oh, wow. a champion smoker back in the 70s when that was a thing. Yeah. Wow. Is that and You never got it... into the the vaping circuit cuz Thank God no. It's for yeah, children. Get... But I mean just get, you know, th- for Psychopaths. a while there from like 2012 to 2017, blowing thick clouds was really in. People doing all sorts of shapes and stuff. It was disgusting with that grape flavored crap and those jewel pods. Oh, you can get like breakfast cereal flavored. You can get like Disgusting. Should taste like tobacco or nothing. Okay, well, this, there's a lot of tension building, and uh, S-car, go! S-car, go! S-car, go faster. S-car, go faster. What makes you the champion? How are you How are you beating I killed other... the others. You, you uh... killed other hitchhikers? There can be only one champion hitchhiker, and every June, we meet at an undisclosed location in the center of the nation. You know, oh, wow. I'm really happy that you said June instead of another word that I thought you were going to say before you added the end what, to it. What did you think I was going to say? I, I thought this was going to be an anti-Semitic thing, so I'm really glad we are Why where we are. Why did you think that? By I, God. Because I, I you are a hitchhiker. You're And you, so just, what, my friend? I, okay, Why would that is, have been involved here? Okay, no, you're right. Um, This is... I look really bad now. My first wife was yeah, Jewish. You look terrible right now. Yeah. Okay. Um... You're a doctor so by the smell of you. <laughs> the, uh, thank, thank you. Um, in, is that you smell I, like ketosis and debt? That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. No, I was gonna say like, is it alcohol or sanitizing stuff? But no, you you just smell uh, terpenes. Like ketosis. Jervis, I want to hear. Terpenes. I want to hear more about this meet. You meet in the middle yes. of the city, and then you right. got, what do you what do you do with this? Well, the meeting? nation. You guys are like, it's rarely done in a city. It's hard to hitchhike in cities these days. So it's the the center of the nation. So what is that? What is the what is the exact center of the U.S.? Well, in 1984, it was done along the vertical axis. In 1972, for example, it was on the horizontal axis. In okay. 1998, it was the cultural center. So we went straight to Miami Beach. Oh, okay. So I can't help but that doesn't seem central to anything. I guess you didn't watch TRL Spring Break, my friend. Oh, it was central to the zeitgeist. That is mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. So do you do you need to get to the center of something now? Because no, we're, I, I, we're hitting I'm up really... the beaches. Well, oh, th- this year, yes. But uh, for now, I'm just in training. This is just a little uh, free, a little okay. prep, prep work. I'm just going guys... wherever the road takes me today. Like, you guys congregate, and then what? Mm-hmm. You guys, you go one, two, three, go? Or No, no. Nothing so unsophisticated, my friend. No. We have, a, we, have, we, have, we have three days of feasting, and then on the fourth day, the battle begins. The last hitchhiker standing is the champion. Okay. Oh, so y'all just fight right there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So this isn't like you coming across hitchhikers on your travels and then killing them. We're not, this is all we're of not you guys, Highlanders, my friend. We're not Highlanders. This is all of you guys sparring once yes. a year. Correct. And everyone dies except for the one winner. Usually. Is that... So how do you how do you get new people for the next year? 
Well, it just you you have to spread the rumor by by riding the roads. As the champion, it's my task to inspire the next crop of to hitchhikers. To grow the league, yeah. Wow. So, if are you the, like a pamphlet, to... sir? You sound intrigued. I'm extremely interested, Doctor London. Do you want a pamphlet this too? in your pocket? Yeah, here. might as well. Yeah. I guess. The you go, thank you for putting that. Yeah, for putting that right in my pocket. You're welcome. Okay. Don't yeah. look for your wallet later. Wink, wink. Yeah. I, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you sound like you know something. Um, Do you know but, where my wallet is? I've been looking for months. Yeah. No idea. Oh, boy. Okay. Because it... First, Cameron, with seeming to know that we would have some hitchhikers that were strange, and now... I think... You... I think... I think we're going to have some interesting characters on this trip, Dr. London. I have a high of a suspicion. So, so Cameron, we have we have one here. I yeah, no, we do already. Yeah, that's right. So, Me, Gervis Del Vecchio, champion hitchhiker, long time tramp, called by some professional. Yeah, would you would you consider yourself a wacky character? I would not. Does any human being consider consider themselves a wacky character aside that from was, Scott Ackerman? Well, that's what I was sort of questioning. I feel like no one would ever have the self awareness to be like, yes, I am a wacky character. You're saying I lack self awareness, my little man. Yeah, little man. Why don't you pull this car over and we'll see who's self-aware. S-car! Well, but, no, just pull, S-car, pull, keep, oh, going. S-car okay. keep going. S-car, keep going. S-car, keep going. All right. You do you have to say that every few minutes. <laughs> I, I mean, it looks like... really encourage this car, huh? Uh, I mean, are we... Are, are we are we looking to pick up someone else, or is this is this going to be our guy for a while? I was, but ugh, okay, we got we got lights. Well, we're here in us. the middle of. Um, I mean, it's Interstate Ten. It's kind of nothing for long stretches. Yeah, well, just so S car. I think maybe we should slow it down. Okay, no, actually, there is oh. someone behind us. Yeah, I see the. Oh no, we're getting pulled over. Oh, the long arm of Johnny Law. Does everyone want to hide? Do we want to just real? Quick, do a contraband check just to make sure we're hiding all the correct things. Don't give my name. Knock, I mean, knock. Knockity doodle. Oh no. Dun, ding dong. Hey. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, sorry. S car S-car. roll down. S car S-car. roll. S car roll. Hi, boys. Do, I don't want to hey. scare you. I don't want to scare you. I'm a fun cop, okay? This is going to oh, be fun. This is going to be fun. fun cops. Do you boys know what you did wrong? Okay. Um, do you want me to go first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to, are we? I know we're just talking about today. Um, just I didn't, why I, didn't I pulled you over. Okay. Well, I and I'm not. I don't know the the whole law thing. I'm more medicine. But so I didn't call my grandma today, and I've been meaning to, um, uh, because she owes me a lot of money, and uh, like if I don't call her up about it, I like I think she'll pretend that she forgot it. She'll. She'll just say like, oh, it's just old age or whatever. And then I'll be out, you know, $600,000. And so I'm really, tr- I've been meaning to call her up and really reconnect with my grandma in that way. Okay. Um, Any other and, takers? And, yeah. If we're handling, if we're just doing confessions, um, I did, I did envy my neighbor's wife at, uh, the other day, unfortunately. And so. He coveted. I, I coveted. Yeah. It's. um. I'm not Listen, proud before, of it. before you guys confess anything you don't want to confess to me, you were your car was kind of going a little fast and then a little slow and then a, and then it and then it kind of yeah. stopped and then you kept going and it was just a little I was like, uh oh, something seems a little iffy, but I'm just here to just make sure everything's good. Listen, if you've been drinking, if you've been smoking weed, like give me some. Okay, like I'm fun. I want to join the party. Okay, I'm not. I'm not here to take you, you to want jail. Some you know. Field hooch. What was that? Did you like some field hooch? Oh, it's give me some switchgrass here. here, here. Give me field. some field hooch. What, you know. Do you, you want to say what field that's from? I can't. Medical field or other. You don't. Okay. You don't know because it's, it's a mixture of so many fields, huh? Would you call That's this marijuana? No, it's a uh, switchgrass. Is that, I'm not familiar with that variety of, is that like the other kind of grass? Because I've heard of grass. Is that a strain? Oh, it's a uh, panicum virgatum. Uh, okay, so, and so this is our, our new friend. It's the dominant species of, of, of the North American tall grass prairie, one of our finest ecological preserves. Oh. I had to assume. It grows in the yeah. center of the nation. Okay, which is Miami 
Beach. The exact center of the U.S., Miami. The physical center, not the cultural center. You guys are uh, fun. You guys are fun. This is the most fun pulling over a group of of guys I've had. Are you guys going spring breaking? What's going on? Yes, we are hitting up the beaches. We're finding the old beach. Now, one of the issues, uh, just just to warn you before we... So, so, um, we are going to the beaches, but we aren't, like, hanging out. We're going to check the beach, see if it's the right one, and if it's not, we're going to keep driving. We have big magnifying glasses. We're going to stop, and we're going to really get close to the sand and have a good look. And then if we we don't find what we're looking for, we're going to... Like Sherlock Holmes, but for beaches. Yes. That sounds so much more fun than in what I've been doing all day. I just sit, I just sit on this highway, just going what? Promoting an authoritarian regime. Sorry, sorry. Listen, I know cops have a bad rep, okay, and that's mm. why I'm here to just let you know we're there's we're fun. We we like to party. We like to have a good. T- Listen, okay. I want to get in the car with you guys and just say f it. I'm do just, it. Can do I wanna, just? Do you want to join us? Honestly, is that gonna make? Is that gonna prove to you that we're not all? like meet green cops like yes yeah. i'd love to get in give me a good review on yelp <laughs> i'd love that let's go i'm gonna right. hop in we're not even doing anything wrong this is a self-driving car we're, it's called, i don't it's... even know how do you open the door do you have to oh s car open s car open do the door oh the... there it is okay, okay cool wow i'm in okay and watch out for the the trunk there is a dj in there okay um so i yes, guess let me move my shopping cart closed. over sorry here we go s car close ask, ask, ask. okay so it's not great at hearing do you guys want to take my cop car i can just oh. drive us in the car in my car yeah i like normally i would say yes anytime someone offers to give me a ride in a cop car but um today you've already we- got your heavy socks on I got my heavy socks on as well as we're in a, in a partially amphibious car. So mm, uh, perfect for beaches. We might yes. need it to get a good view of the beach to see if it's the right one. Oh, this is so fun. This is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it is. And so but anyway, I guess try to you can't push aside that pile of socks because it's so heavy. But like, I, I guess deal with it. I guess that's all I was going to say. Yeah, I guess okay. just deal with it. S car. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I love it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. By the way, while I have you, there is a Uh-oh. hitchhiker that's been kind of on the loose. Uh, I've been getting a lot of calls. People are really concerned mm. that he's influencing people to kill each other. Oh. I just oh, no. I'll have to keep an eye out for that man. Yeah. Yeah. Is this okay. like a culty? Like that sounds like a Charles Mansony. I mean, is that sounds culty, right? Yeah. Manson never hurt nobody. Charlie never hurt nobody. Well, yeah. I mean, Charlie didn't hurt anyone directly. That great. Uh, so this is pretty upbeat. Um, I guess Escar go and Escar also maybe look up um Helter the Skelter? faces. Oh, oh, uh, of of hitchhikers that we should watch out for. I. Wow, this is this is a, a technological car. Yeah, it. I'm like, I don't know that it can do that actually, but like, we've been shouting commands at it, and so far, it's done several of them. S car, uh, fax the president. Well, this Anything is the good news. Whatever goes wrong now in this road trip, if your car starts acting up and a police pulls you over, I'm here with you. All, All right. right, get out of jail free car Perfect now. Oh wow. Okay. You just flash your badge and say "f off." Is it that easy? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that cool? That's yeah. pretty sweet. I might become a cop if this is what it's like. I, I feel oh, like well, maybe I don't the, know about that. the we're recruiting. Propa- <laughs> the propaganda of the media has convinced me that cops are serious and they're racist and all these they're different like, things. And it sounds like you guys are party monsters. We are so fun. It yeah, really we, is Brooklyn Nine Nine. We only take the weed. Just so we can smoke it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, because y'all are cush hounds. That's cool. That's dope. We're so yeah. fun. I'm drunk right now. I've been driving drunk all day. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. that's awesome. Do you have anything on you? Do you have any hooch? Well, I do now, thanks to oh, the lovely guy in the back. Yeah. I feel hooch. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I left all shape. the drugs in my car. 
My name, by the way, is Roger Stone. Okay. I, you said a different name earlier. What? No, I didn't. I'm Nope, I'm just your friend, Roger Stone, that you've always known and didn't pick up on the road. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's... yeah, wink, wink. Hey, Hi, Roger. Roger. Hello. I'm what Sherry. Of... Nice to meet you, Sherry. What do you think of the Beach Boys? Beach Boys? Yeah. Uh, the Beach Boys, just like the, the company they used to keep, the people they used to hang out with and maybe record songs with. There was uh, some guy that they should have let do a bit more. I, I can't remember his name. Yeah, okay. Cool, it's cool. Char- Charles Manson. Char- 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 Charles Manson. No, oh, Charlie? He never hurt nobody. Yeah, Are you talking to me? Anyone. I'm okay. just letting people... I'm just informing the tape recording. The S-car. <laughs> yeah. okay. The S-car is taping all this? S-car, go faster. <laughs> Not too fast. <laughs> I'm kidding. That, I'm kidding. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, that's so... That is too funny that, that cops are like this. and Because my experience... You know, whenever I went out to a protest, it was actually, it was a little bit different because, um, you know, first uh, I got clubbed a little bit. Yeah. And then like the, the whatever they sprayed to my eyes, like. We're just I, here to party. Okay. Okay. We're trying it's... to rebrand. We're trying to rebrand as an entire. Well, the, uh, the uh, president said to fund you, so I guess we don't have much choice. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded that copper app where you rate the quality of the <laughs> cops you interact with. And I, I am giving you five stars. Are you talking about Yelp? That? No, I, I did the Yelp, but copper is the new thing. Okay. You don't have copper? Oh, gosh. Do- oh, my gosh. Dr. London, you're not on copper yet? Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm on it now. Let me. Uh, okay. Yeah. Give, oh, I'm no, Sherry no, the no, Sheriff no, on no, copper. Sherry Just Sherry. honestly, five stars would be great. <laughs> Dr. London, if you're not on copper, then you're probably a, a like a Zoomer meme. Oh no, okay. Yeah. And this happens to Sorry. me every new trend. Every, yes, every okay. time there's a new app, you end up being like a f- major meme because of how long it takes you to get on it. Okay, okay. Oh, you boys uh, yeah. are so cute. I love yeah. this little just banter. Okay, now I am seeing more uh, lights behind us. Uh, so you sa- you said that you can get us out of tickets, right? Should we just keep going, then? Uh, S car, go faster. Just keep going. Listen, I'm going to text the cop behind me because we text and drive, too. Okay. Oh, of course. Because there are a lot of them now. And, um, okay. Well, I can take care of them. I bought a little souvenir bag. Well, one of you aren't the hitchhiker. That's the only reason there would be, there would be a lot of cops. That's the only reason. I get, well, I'm, I'm Roger Stone. I'm a good man. Cards Listen, on the table I'm here. I'm texting them right now. I'm saying all good. I'm with the boys. Okay, okay. good, good. Because oh, wow, uh, we're already the boys to them. That's pretty good. I just, well, I've been letting them know. I've, I've been letting them know I'm with the boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, updating the group <laughs> chat like OMG. That's awesome. Yeah. I love being a cop. I'm a cop now. I think. Let's hear it for the boys. Let's hear it for the gang. Yeah. With a squad of police vehicles in hot pursuit, will our heroes ever make it to the old beach? Find out next time, which, which is actually scheduled for right, right now. So I, it's just like there are a lot of police cars behind us now, so I do feel like maybe... I, so, so you said Should something about the, the hitchhiker situation. Um, we... I, cards on the table here. We do need at least two hitchhikers for tax write-off purposes. So, um, like, I know that it's lately, recently in this area, it's been a bad thing to have a hitchhiker. But, like, for us, we kind of need it. Um, so if you guys, if you wouldn't mind signing this as a hitchhiker, yeah, these right, forms. Sure. Yeah, for a tax write-off, anything for that. Yeah. Listen, how fun. There's nothing Roger Stone loves more than a tax write-off. Yeah, and you'll want to use your real name is the, the thing on that. So, which, okay. Um, no, no, Doc, and that's. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pressured here, Doc. You're putting me in a corner here, Doc. Yeah, well. Why? Maybe, What's your real name? I don't like being in a corner, Doc. I, I'm cornering you in the harshest way, which is I don't get a tax write off unless you sign this form with your real name. You Doc? don't want to mess with Dr. London's taxes. I would just, Uh-oh. I would just put your name down. Yeah, listen, uh, my, it's uh, never good to mess with taxes. But it, my... Just put, just putting, put down Roger Stone. It doesn't matter. You can you sure? put any crime on him right now because he's either just going to go to jail forever or it's mm. all going to be pardoned. Right. 
And I, Roger Stone, have killed millions. Here we go, Roger there Stone. Did you right. say you killed millions? Yep, Roger Stone. Pound it. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. you're he's a been, badass. Okay. He's been Thank killing you, it, you Sherry. can tell. Holy cow. You are a cool I got, cop. You've killed more people than me. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I'm the cop. You'll, you'll get there. <laughs> you'll get oh, there. Oh, my God. Jealous. Have, a, have not touched Dr. London's numbers. Let me tell you, this person has lost so many people on the operating table. It's wild. So sometimes it's been the wrong yeah um so uh anyway we we have this thing i know you've i don't know if you've noticed but we do have this giant wheel that we've been pulling in a trailer the behind brie. us yes i've smelled it yeah um so we we have these chores that we kind of have to do uh and we oh, figure we're gonna be able to mm. yeah th this road trip for a while i mean it's debris in this, it is falling apart um but anyway so we we have chores that we have to do. And I know it's not as fun, Sherry, as what you're maybe picturing with a road trip, but we do. <laughs> but well, Sherry's just along for the ride, Dr. London. I'm going to flash like... these cop cars behind us to give the, the road trip feel. Dr. London, I'm, I'm, I, have, I have a pretty good feeling that Sherry is on ecstasy. So oh, I think boy. she's just going to be down. Get like, a good look. Chores, whatever. Like, it sounds like she's, she's cool. Okay. Are you whispering about me? Yeah, we're oh, kind of gossips. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you on ecstasy? Oh my god, yeah, I'm on ecstasy, and what else? Also, you oh, know, oh, ayahuasca. Boy. Wow, she's on a vision course. So we do have to, Cameron. Would you mind explaining to them that how the chores work? Because we do have For to use sure. it that we're mobile. So, Dr. Lon and I have unfortunately been neglecting all of our chores, everything on our to-do list. It's, we've been really, really busy. Dr. London hasn't even ironed out his fingers in weeks, so they're all wrinkly. And we, so we made this fun chore wheel that we spin every single week, and whenever it lands on, that is the chore that we have to do. And that's so, just, I mean, that's the rule of it. Yeah. So uh, do do one of y'all want to spend? I mean, let's. You see that big wheel that's on top of the car? If you stick your head out of the sunroof, you can and maybe reach it. climb right. back a little bit. Yeah, I use my clean hand for this. All right, and then yeah, just if both of y'all can just go ahead and give that a spin. Yeah, and don't fall off. Don't don't fall off. Don't fall off. Okay. S car go faster. <laughs> okay. Look at me! <laughs> it does look like there's only more police officers behind us. There are a lot. It's the and they uh, are... party patrol. There's Honestly, I texted them. I said, we're going to the beach. Who's in? And they're all like us. <laughs> they're oh, just wow. following how to get to the it's beach. It's the crew. Okay, cool. We're all over. We know you have it. Like, that's fun. So um, what was the what was the chore? What did it land on? Let's see. Oh no, I hate that Ugh. it landed on this. It landed on the one that it landed on is the worst thing, and I'm so disappointed. That's the one it landed on. Do you oh, want me to spin the, again? The the chore is that we all have to rant about something. Ugh. But it's ch unfortunately the subject is chosen by the mayor. So basically, t the mayor is looking for the more things mayor. to politically just sort of rant about. Mm -hmm. He's run out of things because he's ranted about so many things. So he's sort of delegating that to other people to essentially write a angry speech for him. So he's picked out some subjects that you're going to have to rant about just for like 60 seconds or so. And that'll hopefully, he'll be able to use that in the future to win over some political mm -hmm. points. All right. So, I mean, Dr. London, I think you should probably start. And it, it says right here, I, I'm, I'm giving you this one because I know you're passionate about it. But the, the complaint is fish that are too small. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So <clears throat> I got a fish and uh, uh, we have 30 seconds on the clock, right? Okay. Or 90 minutes, whichever one it is. Okay. Uh, fish. Okay. I went to the store to buy a fish, right? And so I'm looking, I want a big honker of a fish. Because Hell yeah. when I get a fish, I want that thing to beat the other fish. And I don't mean physically. I just mean like whenever I take it to competitions. Oh. So, yeah. So I get in there and all they have are tiny fish. They no. got, yeah, they got ones literally, and I'm not, not even exaggerating here, a centimeter long. 
and for those who aren't you know used to the metric system that's kind of small that's pretty small so I've had to deal with this stuff you can't eat that thing it's too small okay you can't train it to you can, well, you can train it to go through some circles and loops like I did work on I trained for a while with it but like generally speaking you can't apply it to a larger stage stadium so oh, situation. Oh, 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 slam yeah okay so that's okay and i that my timer's done okay okay i think that works all right uh sherry i think i think you're up next okay i have to do this too oh yeah it's, it's so for sorry. all of us the mayor even specifically said if he you said, run into sheriff sherry yeah Okay. We've got a, we've got a great rant assignment for her. And All right, is the Dr. topic Leonard, fish? What's the topic, no, Doctor Leonard? The, do you want to do you want to yeah. read it? No, topic is losing at Scrabble. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I, okay. I'm Set sorry. the timer. Oh, yeah. God. Losing at Scrabble is one of the worst feelings that I've ever felt in my life, and I've felt a lot of pain. I I lost at Scrabble to my husband at the time. Now he's my ex. And it was honestly, we got in such a big fight over the Scrabble because I, I put a word that I thought was a, a real word, and the word was bonjour which is right. a french word and um a, and you know lots of letters and i had them all and apparently none of them counted and <gasps> because he was like that's no. french and i was like what so sorry that i'm so smart and no words in french yes and he wouldn't he wouldn't even budge and we got in such a big fight over that that by the, the end of the scrabble game the word he put was divorce Oh, good lord. Wow. And I said, where are the papers? Because it wow. was that big of wow. a fight. Wow. And honestly, like, we haven't talked since. And I, it is a really sore subject. So losing at Scrabble for me was actually the toughest topic that you could have given me. And maybe that has something to do with all the drugs that I do consume. And um, I, I try to numb it. And at that all, that's because of Scrabble. Okay. Just and I'm sorry to to pick apart this aspect of it because I know you're going through some actual closure maybe right now uh, or understanding yourself psychologically. But t throughout the game of Scrabble, did each point in the argument like take a turn whenever you spelled a word? The fight was silent. Every single okay thing spoken was through Scrabble. What? So no one said a word and do you except well except for arguing about bonjour and then is there any chance that one or both of you made assumptions about what the other was thinking just based on like did you put milk you know did you put uh i don't know caboose or something and then you you're got wondering really if maybe her ex-husband was didn't realize that they had gotten <laughs> divorced or like or were fighting at all just silent yeah now I'm thinking about it, and maybe there's a chance divorce was just the letters he had. So you think I overreacted? I think that you should get some more of that hooch and get some more of that sweet, sweet kush, and you forget about your worries. Well, and I, I should also say, you must be very good at Scrabble if you did articulate even a one-sided fight all that way. Yeah. yeah, but you're saying I, I'm saying that he a might not even know. Yeah, well, except because you ended the conversation with "Give me the papers." <laughs> did he? Did he give you divorce? Did he know what you were talking about? Well, they didn't have the papers right then and there, but okay, yeah, that makes sense. But you know, the, the following week I was served the papers. Okay. Because so I, I, I wouldn't stop hounding him about the papers. Okay. Yeah, th there is a chance that there was some slight disconnect the way that you went from bonjour to divorce. And, and like, it may, you might be right about all this, but it sounds like there's a chance that your ex-husband just was playing Scrabble. And It sounds like it maybe went bonjour and then his was maybe wrong. And then yours was divorce. <laughs> well, no, he put divorce. Oh, that's right. I my word was ouch. Oh, and then he put divorce, and you just 
stood up and walked so, out. Held your just, head up high. Was it just like three turns or was this? This was towards later? the end of the game. So, so, wow, yeah, you I'll, brought up a lot of memories with that rant. Yeah, well, that's that's what these are for. And the mayor does consider these to be sort of part of his um, community service. Uh, I think I might have to reach out to my husband, my ex-husband. Oh, building bridges. And just see if, if I w- overreacted. Before you do that, maybe could you read what the mayor had assigned for our, uh, our, our friend Roger Stone here, wink, wink. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Roger, um, your rant yeah. is about overalls. Oh wow, the mayor knew that this that this was sort of specific to you. Sure. Yeah, I love overalls. And a, a lot of you young people e- even though you go through college, you still don't understand the overalls. The overalls is the core of the kings and lords of the world. We as human beings can evoke the ground here called the USA and the reason our system has perpetuated such a way is because all the powers of Europe and England, the monarchies and all these big people, we come over here and we started another world. Each man in the US has the power because he has overalls. You see, the overalls belongs to every human being in the US. You take those overalls away from one man you're, and you're taking those overalls away from all men. That's what falls. You got kings and queens yesterday. They're going to come and play croquet with your heads. They're going to wear their shorts and their their jumpers. And they're going to they're gonna take your overalls. They're going to take your money. And they're going to take your country. They're going to take your resources and rip you off in every way you can think of because you don't give your children the benefit of the overalls that your fathers fought and fouls and died for. Overalls are in your mind. Can't you see I'm free? Okay. Wow. Well, uh, good. You, you barely made the time limit. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Because they're over all of us. Yeah, like, yeah. Wow. You get it. You're starting to see. Yeah, I'm scared starting of what to see I'm the roads now. that are connecting yeah. us all. Maybe you can see the center of this country deep inside. Miami Beach. Maybe you can find your way there in June. Okay. Well, I I don't I don't think I'm, I'm so, Sherry may not be aware of this, but so do you mind if I share? Uh, so you just go to this center of the world and you get you get shot. Is that right? Or well, you kill someone? Only if someone brings a gun. Okay, so if Sherry went, uh, then she would get. You. Okay. Uh, oh wait, but that sounds very familiar to the hitchhiker hmm? we're trying to catch. That's huh. kind of the story they've been telling. His car open. <laughs> Was that him? Run away! Don't ever catch me. Prison's in your mind. Can't you see I'm free? Yeah. That, wow. I wish. That was him. I. I. I don't think so. He said his name was Roger Stone and that he wasn't, uh, what was the other name he gave Gary something? Then why Service? did he, why Service? did he just jump out of the car? I'd have to assume he was on fire or something. Um, it was a stop, drop and roll. And if the car was moving, he couldn't stop on his own. Well, there so. are still those, um, 15 cop cars behind us. Yeah. So honestly, I, they might take care of it if it is him. Well, it does look like they're just running straight over him. Okay. I'll fight each of you to a man. I was in Panama. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, S-Car, get, yeah, slow down. We want to watch this show. But uh, if we could, and I know he's a little bit busy, but uh, do, you, do you guys have anyone um, that you're a fan of that uh, any of our listeners could, uh, could follow? I, I, I love... Um... There was this Instagram, Chase underscore O'Donnell. Mm, Love that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard she has a TikTok dances, right? That's she does all these TikTok dances, and I just get a hoot. I just if I just need a a good (laughs) a good chuckle, I just go over there. So yeah. (laughs) Okay, great. And then Roger Stone, if you're not too busy, you cops don't understand. You cops gotta learn the truth. You should watch Wiz World Live, Jack, on Instagram and Twitch. Uh, 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 Wiz World Live, like wizards, man. They're, they're all they're in our heads and they're showing us the world around us the truth. They're pulling back the curtains, man. Wiz World Live, you gotta find it. It's a great show every week, Jack. Prison's in your mind. Can't you see I'm free? Yeah, he's yeah. able to. That he's able to speak so clearly while being run over by so many police cars is amazing. Incredible. I, I guess it does, it does simplify it because, yeah, there's not a lot of, you know, you, you'd think they would get out of the car to hit him or something if they were going to hurt him, but it is just... Honestly, at over. this point, I think they're having fun. Oh, okay. I was going to... I didn't know who. Okay. Um, well, uh, I think that kind of brings us to an end of this moment. Uh, so thank you so much to uh, Sherry, the sheriff. Uh, 
Honestly, thank you so much. This gave me so much life. And as much as I want to go to the beach with you, mm-hmm. I almost think I need to get out here and go make amends with my ex. Oh, I thought you were going to say, go and hit this guy who's being run over by your buddies. Nah, I thought okay. he was nice. I don't need to run him over. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, really okay. nice meeting you guys. Thanks for a fun, fun you know, drive. <laughs> yeah, thank you for not arresting us. That was really nice. That was really, really nice. It's all worth it for the five stars on Copper and Yelp. Okay. That's, yes, that's how to do it. You're working for, okay. Spread uh, the word. We're fun. We're fun. All right. Bye, boys. Oh all right. Gosh, uh, some of these memes of you, Dr. London, on Copper. Oh, no, okay. Well, I, I anyway, so uh, thank you. Thank you to you to doing the house. Knock, knock, knockity doodle. Ding dong. Losing at Scrabble is one of the worst feelings that I've ever felt in my life, and I felt a lot of pain. I I lost at Scrabble to my husband at the time. Now he's my ex, and it was honestly we got in such a big fight over the Scrabble. Because I I put a word that I thought was a, a real word, and the word was bonjour, which is right. a French word, and um, a, and you know lots of letters, and I had them all, and apparently none of them counted, and because he was like that's French, and I was like what? So sorry that I'm so smart and know words in French. Yes, he wouldn't he wouldn't even budge, and we got in such a big fight over that, and that by the end. Of the Scrabble game, the word he put was divorce. Divorce. And I said, where are the papers? Because it was that big of a fight. And honestly, like, we haven't talked since. And I, it is a really sore subject, so maybe that has something to do with all the drugs that I do consume. And um, I, I try to numb it. And uh, that all, that's because of Scrabble. You got to understand. You got to learn the truth. Put it in your mind. Can't you see I'm free? And with that, we come to the end of this leg of the road trip. Our heroes had a wonderful start of their journey. Tune in next week to learn about producer Cameron's staring contest with the crap at the beach and to hear Dr. London struggle to change a tire while driving his amphibious car through the ocean. Thank you to our producer Cameron. Uh, my name is Dr. LondonSmith.com and this has been the Jock Doc Podcast. Car ride. See ya. <laughs>